Hey there, it's, uh, it's been a while, I think about 6 months since I streamed for the last time and probably more than 8 months since I uploaded. So yeah, I'm sorry for that, but good news, I'm back as you can see. Um, today, today I'm going to show you how to control Resolume Arena through Artnet. The mix input and output is one of the main uh, things that Arena can do and Avenue cannot. So you will need an Arena license for this or the Arena demo, just so you know. So the things you will need is, as I said, an Arena license or the Arena demo and a Artnet capable lighting desk. I'm going to use MagicQ PC. Uh, for this. Current MA will work if you have MA hardware, you just need to be able to output Artnet. So first of all we need to set up Resolume Arena to receive Artnet. So we do this by going to Arena, Preferences, and then here in the DMX tab you have this DMX Preferences. If you click on this arrow you have an Artnet viewer, which is handy for troubleshooting of course. Two things we need to do. First of all we need to create an input Lumiverse. Now, Lumiverses are just the name Resolume gives to Artnet universes, where there is this input or output. As you can see, we're in the input setup now. I'm going to click New Input, and here we have created Lumiverse 1. You can create up to four input Lumiverses. There is a uh, 2048 total channels you can assign, which is pretty insane. We're only going to need one today, so I'm going to delete these. And as you can see, we have a couple of settings. Channel offset, this is to add an offset to the input channel. So for example, if I um, put in five here, Lumiverse 1, channel 1 will actually listen to uh, Artnet Universe 0 in this case, to channel 6, because we did a five channel offset. And then Artnet Subnet and Universe. This is pretty straightforward. For today, I'm just going to leave this at 0 and 0. And then the second thing you need to do is set up the network adapter. So if you click on this, you will get a drop-down list of all of the interfaces, uh, network interfaces that are connected to your PC. Um, I'm just going to click on localhost. If you have your lighting software running on the same computer as your Resolume instance, you can click on localhost like I am doing. But yeah, this will be different for everybody. You need to select the right interface for your scenario. I'm just going to leave this on localhost. You can set an Artnet node name. By default, it's just Arena and then the name of your computer, which I named Cybertruck. That's all we have to do in the preference tab. So we can close out of this. And then there is the shortcuts. So if you've ever worked with keyboard shortcuts on Resolume or MIDI shortcuts on Resolume, this will be very familiar. To create shortcuts, you need to go to shortcuts here and then edit DMX. So as you can see, you can edit the OFC shortcuts, MIDI shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts and the DMX shortcuts. That's what we need today. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see, I've already created a preset for this tutorial, an empty preset. And as you can see, a lot of things turned dark orange. This means these are controls that you can create shortcuts for. You can select all of these things, for example, clip trigger, a clip preview, a video opacity fader of a layer and stuff like that. And then you can right click and uh, select create DMX shortcuts. Now uh, this will just like MIDI also listen to things coming in on the network or in this case on the Lumiverse. But yeah, I'm going to do this manually. Um, doesn't really make a difference. When you have created your shortcut, you see here in the shortcut tab, uh, there are a couple of options. First of all, we have target. So under target, we can set by position, uh, this clip or selected layer. By position means no matter what clip we put on layer one, uh, clip one, it will always trigger layer one, clip one. If I move solid color, you can say the shortcut stays on column one, layer one. I'm going to move this back real quick. We can also select this clip. Now this shortcut is bound to solid color instead of layer one, uh, clip one. You can also see the name change in the shortcut list. So if I go back to by position, you can say layers one, clips one, connect, which means uh, enable basically. And if we put it to this clip, the name changes to clips solid color. So now it's bound to this specific clip. So if I move it to another layer and another column, we can see that the shortcut has moved with it. Now there is one more target option we can select and that's selected layer. As you can see, we have three layers and one is highlighted in green. So this means the layer is selected. Uh, and as you can see, the shortcut actually jumped to layer one and that's because we have layer one selected. So as you can see, the name changes to selected layer clips three. Now it's on layer one. If we select layer three, you can see that the shortcut has moved to clip three on layer three. Uh, same thing if we select layer two, the shortcut will move to layer two. 
clip three. You can also create shortcuts for layer selection. So that's it for the target options. Then we can set a Lumiverse. As you know, we can create a maximum of four Lumiverses. So if you have multiple, you can select them here and you can set the channel. So this channel will be the channel plus the offset we set. So we have set an offset of zero. So channel one will actually be channel one. Um, but yeah, I've already explained the offset. Then there's range, invert value and 16-bit. If you need a 16-bit channel, you can click this. This will be if you need very accurate fader control. So this will actually take in two channels then. Invert value is pretty straightforward. Now this range means value zero on channel one will be zero and the mix value 255 will be 100% here. If we invert the value, now 255 on the mix will be zero on Resolume and zero on the mix channel will be 100% on Resolume. And then yeah, range is also pretty straightforward. If we put in 50% here, this now means that the mix value zero will be 50 and the mix value 255 will be 100. This is basically just the range that the channel will control. So I have now cleared the shortcuts, um, which you do by right clicking on a shortcut and then clicking clear shortcut. I'm going to move my solid color back to the position I had it. So now I'm going to map this little composition. Uh, so we're going to be able to switch between these two clips, change the color of uh, a colorize effect I applied to this layer and control the layer video opacity all through our lighting software. So that's going to be really cool. I'm going to show you how to do this so you can get more of an idea what you can do with shortcuts and get familiar with the setup process. So I'm going to go to edit the mix again. Uh, first of all, I will create the clip trigger shortcuts. So I will create a DMX shortcut on, uh, for solid color. I want this to be uh, bound to this clip. We don't really need to change this. Um, same thing for uh, the meta balls clip, also to this clip. So now that we've created our clip triggers, I'm going to create a, a shortcut for the layer opacity. I'm also going to select this specific layer. And as you can see, I didn't change the channels of these shortcuts, um, but they are still in the right order. So channel one, uh, is our first shortcut, channel 2, our second one, and channel 3, the one we just created. Resolume automatically assigns uh, the next shortcut to the next available DMX channel, which is pretty handy in my opinion and makes the process of creating shortcuts uh, really fast. Then I'm going to create a shortcut for the master. So as you can see, the target option is gone when we create a shortcut for the master. This is because there's only one master and one way to control the master. And just to show you, I will invert this value. Now, the colorize effect, you will probably be presented with um, this by default so the picker but for changing colors in resolume there's multiple ways of doing this so you have a color picker you have hsb channels but also rgb which is what we'll need so as you can see there's our red and green and our blue channel i'm going to create shortcuts for all of these so i'm going to do this layer because otherwise it won't work properly because layer one is the only layer with the colorize effect so this layer nothing uh, i'm not going to change anything and the same thing for the green channel and the blue channel. So that's it for the resolution part. Um, as you can see, my shortcuts are ordered by the mix channel. By default, they're sorted by name. You can change this by right clicking on any shortcut in the menu. You will probably have sorted by name selected and then you can click on uh, sorted by the mix message. Um, and yeah, you can also duplicate the selected shortcut or delete it uh, with this menu. Now that I have a clear list of what I need to patch, I'm going to open Chems' Magic U. Of course, the patching process will be different depending on which lighting desk you're using, but I'm using the Magic U software, um, as you know. First thing you need to do in your lighting desk um, is set up your DMX universes. I'm just going to use Universe 1, which outputs to Artnet Subnet 0, Universe 0, as we have configured in Resolume. You also need to set up your network settings. So for me, it's just sending to my built-in adapter. And because in Resolume, I've selected localhost, it will listen to the traffic on this computer. I'm going to go to Patch. Um, choose dim slash media and a generic dimmer then we need four dimmers first so i'm going to patch uh, four at uh, universe one channel one and as you can see we have patched four dimmers now so i'm going to name our first one solid color uh, this is meta balls layer opacity i'll just call it opa and uh, master now, as you can see, I'm not patching a Resolume fixer or anything. I'm just patching dimmers and uh, soon RGB pixels. Now, you can also create a personality file for your desk um, for your Resolume setup. I didn't do this yet because my setup changes so much and I haven't found my ideal configuration yet. So patching multiple dimmers and pixels uh, works for me. So the last thing we will need is a generic LED, uh, which is just an RGB pixel in, uh, in Chemsys. I will 
to an HTTP one and patch it on in this colorize. As you can see, our Resolume is still in shortcut mode, so I will exit out of that. And this should work now. So I'm going to move Magic U over here. I will first select the solid color. And as you can see, it turns on, it works, but there are still a couple of things we can fine tune, which I will go into in a minute. Um, first, we'll test the other shortcuts. So meta balls should work as well. Yes, layer opacity works as well. Then our master should be inverted. And as you can see, when I higher the value, uh, the master fades out. So when my DMX channel is at 100%, the master is at 0%. And when my DMX channel is at 0%, the master is at 100%. So perfect, that works as well. And then last but not least, our colorize effect should work as well. Yes, as you can see, this works perfectly. So yeah, I can select the colors. So as you can see, I have programmed a um, little basic show file. So we have our master off fader, which works perfectly. We have our layer opacity fader, which works perfectly. Then we have our clip triggers, which doesn't really work the right way. So as you can see, meta balls is still triggered while we don't have anything on. And also if we put it on, Below 50%, uh, it doesn't do anything. It only triggers something when we put it over 50%. So going to the queues will work, but now if we turn off the queue stack again, the clip will stay on. So before I'm going to show you how to change this behavior, I'm going to test my uh, colors chase. So yeah, that should work fine, awesome. So this is just a chase going through all of these uh, 10 pellets. Also, if we go to solid color now, the color chase still works because it's a layer based effect. Uh, which is pretty cool. But now, back to Resolume. So there's two things we need to change. First of all, the clips need to turn off again when we clear the channel or when we put the channel to zero. So this is a mode in Resolume called Piano Mode, which basically means uh, flash buttons. Now it just turns on and it ignores any turn off commands. There's two ways we can change this. We can do this per clip, um, which you can do by right clicking on the clip, going to trigger style and selecting piano mode. But as you can see, there's a composition determined mode. If you're planning on using Resolume only with DMX or this composition only with DMX, I recommend you change it on the composition level, which means that all of the clips will go to piano mode. You can do this by going to composition. And here we have clip trigger style set to normal and we can set it to piano. So let's test this. Going to put the color chase on. As you can see, the clip trigger is on. Meta ball triggers on, we can still go to our queue list. And if we go below 50%, the clip turns off again. So that's awesome. That's one of the two things. There's one more thing we need to change. I'm just going to turn off this chase because we're going to go into shortcut mode again. And otherwise it will mess up the shortcuts because it listens to the DMX channels. We're going to go back into the DMX shortcuts menu. And on our clips, we will need to change the range. So in this range, everything over 50% will turn on and everything under 50% will turn off. This is a little trick. If we um, set the begin point of the range to 49%, this now means that, as you know, uh, the mix value zero will be 49%, which is just turned off, and almost everything above that will be on. So that's what we're trying to do. So the same thing for our meta balls, 49%, exit shortcuts window, and now we can test this again. Let's move up the fader. And as you can see, almost immediately when we uh, move up the fader, our clips trigger. So yeah, this works perfectly. We can fade out our master with the inverted channel. We can change our layer opacity. We can cycle through our clips. We can turn our clips off if we want, uh, turn them on in the logical way, in the same way our lighting desk works. And we can change the colors of the colorize effect on this layer, so of the two clips we have. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I really hope that you liked it and you learned something new. If you did, it would mean so much to me if you would consider uh, leaving a like and subscribing. We're almost at 700 subs while I'm recording this video, which is uh, pretty mind blowing to me. And I didn't upload for six months and I still gained like 200 subscribers in this uh, break period, which is crazy. Thank you so much. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're pretty close to a thousand subscribers. Um, it would be so, so great if we could hit this milestone before the end of the year. That would be so amazing. 1000 subscribers is a pretty big goal and I'm closer to it than I would have ever expected. So um, yeah, again, thank you so much guys. If we could hit 1k, 
that would be amazing. If we don't, that wouldn't matter, of course. I'm so grateful for the 698 subscribers I have at the moment. And yeah, expect more content. I'm back. I miss recording videos. I miss doing live streams. I'm going to try and start streaming again soon as well. So make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss out on all of that. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And then I hope to see you soon on this channel again. Or maybe somewhere else, you never know. But seriously, thank you for watching. Bye.